This was an early season battle for first place between two teams that know each other well. Both teams came in with a record of two wins and one loss. Only question was which team was going to leave the field in first place. We pick up the action in the 35th minute. Gold Pride's Christine St. Clair sends it to forward Kelly O'Hara. But she is taken down by Sky Blue defender Daphne Coster. That led to this penalty kick by midfielder Camille Abilly. Abilly with a shot, but Sky Blue goalkeeper Karen Bosley was all over it. Marta sends a rebound, but it's Bosley with a double save for Sky Blue. Basically, I just I knew she was going to go to my left. I mean, I don't know how I knew. I guess maybe she kept staring at the right-hand corner, and I was like, I'm pretty sure you're not going to hit it there. But um, I just had a feeling tonight. And that feeling didn't last very long. Let's fast forward to the 38th minute. Carrie do with the assist to Christine St. Clair. Goal! And it was time for the FC Gold Pride Chicken Dance. We had a free kick and Carrie Dew, who was just dominating in the air, um, got her head on it and sort of played it back across goal and I had lost my mark and you know I was wide open at the top of the six and managed to put it in the goal. Sky Blue FC played well and had their chances in the second half, but it was simply not meant to be as FC Gold Pride defeated Sky Blue FC for the second time this season. In the second half, we show the, the team that we can be, you know, so I hope that we're going to be able to show that for 90 minutes um, in the future and uh, be ready to put game, you know, play from the first minute and all the way to the 90th minute. And I think second half, was we just created so many chances and we were able to possess the ball a little bit better. So I'm, I was, I'm, I'm content with the second half, you know, um, and um, overall, I think the performance is a lot better than we played um, last time we played against them. The second half was just a complete battle. Um, they had some chances, we had some chances, and you know, it was just, a, like I said, a battle to the end. And we've reached the end of our highlights. Reporting from Piscataway, New Jersey, I'm Denise Saul for WSENetwork.com. <laughs>